What's up team, it's Wilson, also known as Designed by Will. In today's video, we're gonna be making a quick and easy graphic for your clothing brand. Now this one is going to be beginner friendly and I'll walk you guys through the basic steps in making a design similar to this. Basically the reference was the capital jeans and I wanted to implement that sort of design style into a hoodie. One, because the whole rhinestone look is trending at the moment and I basically wanna flare up some ideas for a client. I'll walk you guys through editing mockups to make them your own slash personal mockups using custom brushes within Illustrator and my new gemstone pack and a live paint bucket tool or live paint tool to paint your mockups that you've made so you can streamline your design process. Without further ado, let's go ahead and lock in. So while you guys are watching this, this pack will already be out. I've been working on this pack for almost two years now and I have a video exactly on how to make something like this if you didn't want to pay for it. You know, I love showing you guys exactly how to make stuff like this. So we're going to go ahead and add a new window slash new page onto Illustrator. From here, I'm just going to go into the Tech Pack 2024 update, only on the Studio Wheel Patreon. I'm going to go ahead and just grab the hoodie because it's for a hoodie project. And we'll just copy this over into our new page. And then from here, we're going to start making some adjustments. So we don't need this style of hoodie. So we're going to get rid of that try hood. And then using the direct selection tool, you can select certain anchor points on the mockup because it isn't a flat. It's the full live line work. And you can go ahead and add things and change things about here and there. And I get a lot of questions asking me what's the difference between the pro technical and I guess the cheaper, I guess, normal technical for the old 2023 mockups on my website um, basically this is the difference for the old ones if you're getting the normal one you're unable to edit the actual garment and make custom technicals because it is just too hard because they're expanded shapes but on the pro version you don't have any restrictions and you can go ahead and make custom technicals to your heart's content now I'm just using the pen tool here and just going about and adding in new lines. So basically the client wanted to make a triple hoodie and that's what we're designing right now. We're adding in the three hems that are gonna be on the hoodie and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the three hoods. And you can see here, once I press command Y on my MacBook keyboard, I don't know what the conversion is for Windows, you go into wireframe mode, which basically allows you to edit line work in Illustrator in a more precise manner. Now making this triple hood was extremely confusing, mainly because I had to look at some references on like what different hoodies stacked up would look like. I've seen another brand do this before and I can't remember which brand it was, but the client did some, send some images for me to reference while I was designing this. So I basically just had to free ball this in my head but essentially what I wanna make the illustration look like, we wanna make it look like this hood, this single hood, is three hoods just stacked up on top of each other. Now, when I'm working in Illustrator, I use the pencil tool a lot because it's more free flowing and it makes it feel like you're drawing on a piece of paper rather than using a computer and using like geometric lines here and there because in Illustrator, it's so hard to draw. I don't know people who can draw in Illustrator properly and if you can, you're either a psychopath or really good at your craft. There's no in between, but yeah. Anyway, I use the pencil tool here, as you can see, to make adjustments to lines here and there because using a, I guess, pen on that curve is just super annoying. But as you can see here, when you free form it, it just looks more natural. You can see it here taking shape now. And once we've finished this hood, all we have to do is make these solid lines and then get rid of all the excess lines that we can see. Now the font I'll be using is Coda Heavy and basically I wanna remake the capital jorts slash jeans, like that rhinestone pattern, but put it on a hoodie. So I went ahead and just started off by making the font into line work and then I adjusted it so it could be blocky and centered together. Now there's a lot of ways of doing this, but I find this the easiest way. You can go ahead and make it as intricate as you want, but just so highlighting it all together and aligning it using the alignment tool and then making adjustments from there, like if you double click it you can go ahead and make adjustments to groups and making it look like one solid piece is the fastest way of going about and making this now using the new gemstone pack we want to basically recreate this sort of pattern that you see to the left of me and now i'm going to go ahead and just grab certain pieces and icons from the new gemstone pack that i've just released i'm going to go ahead and just kind of recreate this but for this brand name 
Now within the gemstone pack, you'll have options of SVJ, PDFs, and PNGs. Now the SVJs are editable 100% within Illustrator. You can go ahead and open them, make your own custom, I guess, design when it comes to these. And that's basically what I'm doing. So these little icons here are meant to represent something like a pearl, but if we go ahead and color them and then make the adjustments needed, we can go ahead and recreate a circular, I guess, fake gemstone. And that's basically what I'm doing right here. And that's what I really love about this pack. I've seen a lot of gemstone packs out there, but they tend to require a lot of extra work if you want to make anything custom. And I'm just going through right now using the direct selection tool to basically make selections here and there and then recolor my artwork using the swatches slash Pantone CMYK panel to the left of me next to my tools. Now you guys won't have this if you have the new Illustrator. If you have the old one, you can go ahead and extract these files. Legally, I can't show you how to do that, but there is a lot of videos on how to get your color books into the new Illustrator. As you can see here, this design was fairly easy to duplicate in our own sort of way. But one thing that's missing is sort of the pattern going around the font. Now, this is why I love Illustrator is because you can make custom brushes within Illustrator with anything, basically. And basically, I made some custom scatter brushes for you guys within the gemstone pack as well that allow you to make this sort of look. And once you have a scatter brush, you can go ahead and select your font individually and then go ahead and apply that scatter brush onto your font. And then from here, all you have to do is just adjust the stroke to basically imitate the sort of look that you want for placement from your manufacturer or whatever you want. And I went ahead and double check with the manufacturer if this was possible. And I love to do that for projects like client projects because you want to make sure that you can actually make what you're designing. And they said, yeah, this is 100% fine. So once I had that, I went ahead and just added a fill and changed that fill to white and then made some the final adjustments and added in the gemstone within the middle between the other ones to make it i guess identical to the capital look now again within that gemstone pack you guys do have an option of 25 custom brushes so essentially you could make this font however you want it but keep it realistic i feel like if you're using the cross brush i don't think that's realistic in terms of production unless you want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a single sample. Um, but yeah, this is basically a perfect pack for anything rhinestone and gemstones. And I've been working on this for about a year and you guys saw me make the originals. So you guys can learn how to make those originals and then basically just implement it within your own design style. Once you're happy with your design, now it's time to color and I'll show you guys exactly how to color in Illustrator. First, you wanna select whatever color you wanna fill with and then go ahead and select the live paint bucket tool. Now, the live paint bucket tool allows you to color in objects just as, as you, just as how you see fit within Illustrator. I love this tool. When I was working at my internship at Culture Kings, I remember Sam, the creative director there, showed me this live paint selection tool after this whole time, I was using the shape builder tool to color in and it literally changed my mind because look how quick it is to color in things and to change the color, you just use the live paint selection selector and you can change the color however you see fit. But we can really see this hoodie start to take shape now as you see me color the different segments and see what the hoodie is actually going to look like in production. It kind of puts it in perspective. I wanted to go with this sort of, I guess, watermelon color scheme slash match the rhinestones on the Usurwani in terms of the graphic. And once I was happy with that, I basically just had to duplicate that on the back and we're basically finished. Now, after you color it, your design is basically complete. Let me know what you guys think of this design overall. I know it wasn't nothing extravagant, but it just taught you guys the basics within Illustrator so it can help you learn more within the program. And I know you guys like that. And I want to say a massive thank you for getting me to 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely nuts and bananas. And for that, I'm going to give you guys 50% off on anything on my personal website using code will 50 for anything above a dollar value of 15 Australian dollars. Go ahead, go ham. Um, you guys got two days and I know who watched this video because you'll see it at the end of this video. So use code will. Love you guys. I'll see you within the next one. Peace.